Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Krishna. Today we are going to learn how you can publish a package to a specific folder. Right? So recently I have seen some posts regarding this uh, question in our UiPath forum. So that's why I'm planning to create a video to clarify how you can achieve that. Right? So uh, usually uh, how you will be publishing a project to an orchestrator. So the process is like we have UiPath Studio for the development process. So uh, we'll be creating a process in UiPath Studio and then later we'll be clicking on the publish button, right? So uh, let me open up a new process and I will show you how, what is a normal process and how you can uh, do some changes or some configuration changes to publish only to the respective folders, right? So let me create a process like folder, publish okay uh, language is vp let me create it okay so uh this question is very much valid like how you can publish a process or a package to a particular folder so just consider uh, if you are not specifically uploading to a particular folder it will go to the tenant package here, right so whoever is having access to the tenant or uh, which all folders are there in uh, under that tenant, all these people can access this package to create a process and to run the automation jobs, right? But just consider if you have some uh, three uh, folders like A, B, C, and some users are assigned to folder C, right? And you want to specifically publish a package to folder C without providing the access to A and B right so it means like who all are uh, added as users to folder c they can only create a process with that package okay so this requirement is very much needed if you are going with a big organization with a different uh branches right so there can be branches like hrt maybe finance or can be technical team right under the same tenant, tenant there can be different different department groups so you don't need to publish a package that is uh, related to HR uh, to finance team, right? So you have to restrict the access, right? Only uh, the respective team members will be able to create the um, pro process using the package and only the respective uh, folder, the HR folder should be having the access to the packages related to HR, right? So today I'm going to show you how you can meet this requirement. I hope you're getting okay so i created a new uh, workflow the name is folder publish okay so let me do one thing uh, let me use a right line activity and i'm adding hello world okay so that's it so this is one sample process okay and here at the bottom uh, as you all know you'll be able to see the uh, folders right and you can select the folder and you can publish it right but is it going to a separate folder the answer is no but if you want to publish it directly to a specific folder you have to make some settings to the folder while creating the folder itself in orchestrator okay if you are creating a folder based on the tenant the tenant feed means it will directly go to the tenant feed okay or you will be able to see the package in a tenant level it means which all uh, folders are created under that uh, tenant all these folders will be having access to this particular uh, package right but just consider you are creating a folder only to a specific feed or to the folder feed it means only that particular folder can see the package right so if you're creating a folder like that means no other package will be visible to that package as well okay so here you can see there are uh, five folders uh, available here and uh, these five folders are coming from here right all these folders are totally based on tenant feed okay what is tenant feed it means if you go to tenant and if you go to package you will be able to see all the packages that is published to orchestrator right and uh, let me go to this assessment okay let me go to automation okay let me uh, click on add process okay here i can see all the packages that is published to the tenant feed 
right so my requirement is i need to restrict this to the specific folder based packages right so what i'm going to do is let me go to tenant let me go to folder okay i'm going to create a new folder okay so let me name it like folder access okay and uh, this is a trial folder to check the folder level or uh, mm, okay package fit okay and while creating the folder here you can see two uh uh field set right first one is tenant package feed okay so this is the default one next one is create a new package feed for this folder so it means if you are choosing tenant package feed means like which are the package that you are publishing to the tenant feed while doing the publishing it will go to the tenant based package feed, right so those packages you will be available in this folder as well okay my requirement is i need to separate this package only to the specific folder that i am going to create so let me choose this one create a new package feed for this folder click on create okay so i have created a new folder called um, folder access okay so where is the folder okay here you are able to see the folder access right and here let me show you one more thing uh, i clicked on one uh, folder assessment this is totally based on a talent package feed okay then i am going to automation okay here i am able to see process jobs triggers and logs right but this folder folder access is created based on folder specific package feed right so let me click on this folder access okay let me go to automation and here you are able to see folder packages it means here you'll be able to see the packages that is released or published specific to this folder right so let me do one thing let me click on this and here also you are able to see the package option okay and this option is not available for other folders so let me click on this add here you are uh, sorry let me click on this folder let me click on add here you are not able to see the package option right so this package you cannot add separately to these ten tenant uh, feed based projects okay uh, that will be available only to the folder uh, based package feed okay so let me do one thing let me go here add and click on package okay so what does it mean so just consider you already created a package in your locker okay so if you click on browse you can browse it and you can add it okay you can add uh, that nugget package to uh, the particular folder okay then you can uh, create the process as well this is one method okay and just consider you don't want to manually upload the process okay or uh, manually upload the package you want to uh, do it directly using the publish button from uh, studio okay i will show you how you can do that okay or if you want to manually upload here also you can do you can go to folder package and this uh, feature is available only for uh the folder based package feed right so let me click on this and here also you can click on upload and you can choose the uh, package right okay so that's it so let me go to uh, studio okay let me go here i'm not able to see that new folder right? so what i'm going to do let me click this click on refresh okay okay now it is showing all the uh, now it will show all the folders right so let me do one thing let me keep it as assessment okay so this assessment is tenant based package field folder okay let me keep the same okay and let me click on publish okay uh, package name i'm keeping as folder publish and click on next here you can see publish to orchestrated tenant process feed okay by default it is uh, showing you orchestrated tenant process feed okay and another option is custom if you are choosing custom means you can create a custom package in your local right by default the only process feed available is tenant process feed right so let me click on cancel because i don't want to publish my package to a tenant process feed, right so click on cancel let me choose my next folder folder access 
so this folder i have created totally based on folder based on package field right so let me select that one and now click on publish okay let me keep the same uh, package name click on next here you will be able to see publish to orchestrator folder access field okay by default it is coming as folder access field okay but if you're going with a normal folder means it is by default it is choosing orchestrator tenant process field but for this uh, folder based uh, package field uh, package field you are able to see folder access field as the default right so let me keep the same click on next okay click on publish okay so what is the uh, process name sorry a package name it's folder publish right so let it complete the publishing okay so usually what will happen if you are publishing a package to a tenant uh, feed uh, if you go to tenant and if you go to package and if you search here uh, it's folder access right folder access you will be able to see the package right but even after publishing also i'm not able to find that package here in folder field right why because i published that to the folder based package field not to tenant based package field, right so let me go to folder access go to automation go to folder packages okay see here now i am able to find sorry uh, i'm able to find a folder publish right so this is the this is my uh, process name folder uh, package name, folder publish right i am able to find it here okay and this package is not available in the tenant base okay and one more thing let me go to assessment let me refresh this okay let me click on back let me go to triggers let me go to assessment okay and here if i try to create a new process okay let me search for folder all right folder publish that was the package name see i'm not able to find that package right it means that package is only available within the folder that we created as a uh, folder package field right so let me click on cancel okay now the package is only available within this folder okay will be published so let me click here let me click on folder package okay i am able to see it here okay now i can go to process click on add process i can choose the package okay this is my package name okay and the entry point is main.xml okay click on next okay display name folder uh, sorry, publish test okay so i'm keeping the same and uh, let me create start now okay you can choose which account uh, you uh, need for executing uh, this job and uh, what is the machine by default i'm choosing as uh, any any robot or any machine uh, let me check where it is showing any machine here okay it is showing uh, no machine so what i have to do is let me duplicate this page okay let me go to folder access uh, okay let me click on this add sorry uh, let's add. yeah go to settings and here usually what you have to do is just consider you have multiple users okay then if that is the case you can choose your uh, user okay which user you want to choose here i have only one user so by default it is coming okay and what is the role that you want to uh, view that also you can uh, choose here as i okay so if just consider if you have multiple users and you want to specify the role for each user that also you can do go to setting i need to assign a machine here okay i'm choosing this uh, template based machine as 
the machine to this folder click on update let me go back here okay let me click this okay now i am able to see the machine okay and any hosted machine okay i'm choosing the host name um, okay no runtime available why okay let me click on process again okay here the process got created right from edit runtime argument is main only okay next next all the registers okay now it is updated let's see where it is uh, it's going to run or now okay let me execute production ended as the runtime okay fine any robot any machine fine okay let me click on start Uh, let it uh, complete the execution. Okay, the execution is uh, completed. Okay, so let me open up the assistant. <coughs> okay, here you can see the process is completed. I mean, technical. All right, so this is how you can create uh a folder based package field and you can upload your package to that particular folder okay i hope you are getting this is very much required if you're going or to work for a big organization and you want to limit your package distribution to some folders okay not to distribute to all the folders and not to tenant level you want to distribute your package to the folder level right i hope you find this video useful if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.